Do 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 but what are the songs for waking up? You can get it if you really want. <laughs> you can get it if you... That's a good one. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Exactly. There you go. That's so good. Yeah. 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 Because, you know, they say that waking up is hard to do. And it is sometimes. You know, I'm, in New, I'm from New England. It's not like below the Mason-Dixon line where, where the spring comes like Beethoven's Sixth Symphony just exhaling out of the ground. It's grouchy, right? You're like, I don't want to wake up. The ground is like, springtime, where's my coffee? Bleh. There's this deep sense of grudge around the awakening to freedom and possibility. Man, freedom and possibility, I'm going back to see him. Don't bother me! Right? Yeah, so there's a certain amount of really needing to look at in the wood element. How do we wake up? What is our waking up style? I need to stretch. I notice I haven't been moving for a while. Uh, it's really hard to get moving. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, or, or is it like Tigger? Boy, oi, oi, I'm ready for a new day. <laughs> and exploring that, because this is so relevant to our wood element, it's the great awakening and getting out of bed time. Exploring it also for the sake of our clients who may not wake up quite the same way we do. And so we're like, okay. <laughs> like we're, we're, we're definitely being the voice of the coach, the voice of, okay, no matter what, you're awake, you're here, it's, it's time for the game. Are you going to show up, showing up, wake up? Yeah. Yeah. Because if we had to say, um, lullabies are very sweet and earthy and tender and filled with kindness for going to sleep. The voice of the coach for waking up is not tender and sweet. It is loving, but it is not tender and sweet and it's not about nestling down and being cozy. It's about actually going outside of your comfort zone and literally stretching discovering resources you didn't know you have and bringing them to the engagement. Why? Because life is moving. The game is happening. And if we don't come into our wood element and show up with our gallbladder hand extended to shake hands with what's going on, if we stay in passivity, the next thing that happens is our wood element is all about victimhood. And we become an angry victim because we're in passive mode and they're doing all these things to us because we haven't woken up to the other 50% of the equation, which is that we could be doing things too. What's my half of the handshake? And so it's crucial. You're hearing it in my voice right now. It's not the voice of mama putting you to sleep. It's the voice of coach saying, we still have a few more innings. Yes, they are leading 60 to three. But we have a few more innings. Okay. It's all the, for our clients, for those around us, for ourselves, the practice of physically in our bodies long before we have any idea what we're going to do. Creating 
readiness body so that the ideas will occur to us. This is counterintuitive from a Western perspective. We think, I'm going to sit like a potato on my couch in water mode, wondering what the hell I'm going to do, and after I figure it out, then I'm going to mobilize. It doesn't work that way. Our bodies are the context in which our thoughts take place. Get up, get out of bed, drag the comb across your head. Start moving, start creating readiness body. Do you have that downward traction? Do you have that upward loft? Are you in handshake mode with your life? I'm showing up and I'm shaking hands. Do I know what's going to happen after that? No. It's a lot like ping pong. Get your racket up. Get your sail up. Show up. So a lot of what we're working with in ourselves and in our clients is how to be a good coach. Coach to a losing team. Coach to a chicken, which is different than being coach to a turtle. Coach to a wounded chicken or a wounded turtle that we still, from love, are not going to allow to slip into passive victim mode. We've got a few more innings. Let's play. This includes coach to a tired person, close to people who genuinely do not have many resources or many choices. What, are you going to lay down and die? No. We're going to get up and do something different than if we'd slept well the night before. That's true. Something different than if we had a million bucks. Something different than if we'd had a different childhood. Okay. Rising to the handshake. Showing up. For the handshake and possibly staying in that physiology for a little while especially if it's unfamiliar because many people are living in I hate to say it but like a watch it on TV mode or a movie mode it's a passive mode where things happen and our body and we just go oh and like like we're jerked around, we're bounced around. It's all the wood element, and the most important thing about how we wake up is that we wake up. That we embrace springtime and coming to life as a 50 50 dance partner with what's happening. Yeah. Hamdulillah. <laughs>